Welcome back for our Mastery Tip video series. In this video, we're going to be covering all the tournament regulations and rules for sparring. We're joined by assistant instructors, Mr. Turner and Mr. Kerwin, and they're going to help us demonstrate the rules as we do some sparring. Gentlemen, set. Start. Bow. Yes, I can. Face each other and bow. Yes, yes I, I can. can. And touch gloves. Guard stance. Okay, in sparring, for point sparring at one of our tournaments, feet will be worth two points and hands will be worth one point. Anytime you kick a person, you're going to get two points for it. Any contact with the hand will net you one. Now, one of the most important things to remember is where we can touch and where we can't touch. There are our legal target zones. When sparring, you could always touch anywhere on the chest guard, which includes the top, here, the middle, the bottom, the sides. And all those are legal point zones. So a kick or a punch to either one of those areas will count. For everyone that's watching at home, let's demonstrate one for one. You can do any technique to the body and you throw any technique to the body. Ready? Begin. Good. Anytime we make contact to that area, it will count. Time. Now, if we make any level of contact below the waist or to the back, that could be considered a warning. Two warnings at a tournament is a disqualification and we want to make sure that we avoid those at any cost. So now, to give you an example of some illegal techniques, gentlemen, please don't hurt each other, but let's say they are in the position and Mr. Turner just throws a round kick to the backside, that would be considered intentional disqualification or intentional warning technique, or if he threw a kick for some reason low and it hit the leg, that would also, or below the waist, would also be considered a warning. Now, in certain cases, let's say Mr. Turner throws a round kick, but he full steps back, go and you hit him in the back, that was unintentional because the original target was shifted and shouldn't really call out a warning. That's a decision for the judge to make. Now that we've covered the body, let's talk about the upper head. Now, depending on your belt level will determine if you can touch it or not. Now, you can always go to the head for a point. For example, if I'm sparring with Mr. Kerwin and I'm a camo to a purple belt, going to the head without touching will count as a point. Same thing with the feet. I can kick and not touch and that's a point. Blue belt and above, it's expected that you do make light contact to the head. So to the sides of the head, the top of the head, the back of the head are all legal areas. If, however, you strike to the face shield, that's another warning. So now that we've covered some of those basic rules, let's see these gentlemen spar, and I'll give you an idea about certain points and how it works. Ready? Spar. Time. We had a quick hand point over here. That's one point to the body. Now at a tournament, you're gonna have three judges. Two out of the three judges have to see the same person score with the same technique. So if Mr. Kerwin kicked and punched Mr. Turner, and one person saw a punch, one person saw a kick, and the third judge saw nothing, then it would be null and void as far as the points. So it's got to be the same one. Let's try again. Ready? Spark. Time. We had one punch over here, so now it's 1-1. One, one. All hand technique so far. Spark. Time. Two point kick over here. Now sometimes there are a clash where they might hit each other at the same time and that'd be a clash technique. I wanna wish all of you guys luck at their next tournament and make sure you practice, practice, practice until black belt mastery and excellence. Feet together, set, sir. Bow to each other. Yes, yes I, I can. can. And to everybody at home, bow. Yes I can. Yes, yes I, I can. can.